All right, my man, state your name. Let them know you on Real Talk with Nick. Yeah, you already know who it is. I ain't got to state the name. You already know the gangsta G5. What's the pop in New York? G5. All right, That's man, where well, you know this. Quiet for a couple days. Yeah, Stop. yeah, yeah, yeah. You been under yeah, that yeah, Nick yeah. Rock? Well, what you been doing? Been, been celebrating? Chilling. Nah, no celebration. I already know what was going to happen. I predicted this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So what's the outcome, man? Knicks outcome? play the game? Knicks and six. Knicks and six? Knicks and six. Yeah? Yeah. Now, after watching this series unfold, are you still optimistic about Dominic Mitchell, man? Is no. He st- He's still who he is. It don't matter. It's just that he can't do it by himself. He can't do it by himself. And he needs to realize that. You can't do it by yourself. is not the same. Okay. All right. You can't do it by yourself. So that, goes to sh- that. so that goes to show how important the Knicks bench was, man. Of course. Forget just the bench. That, Tim de- that, that Tim's defense was killing him. Yeah. You got to look at that Tim's defense, boy. We holding them down for under 30 and a half. Nigga. Ooh. That was impressive. Ooh. That was because they was talking trash. Game two, when they took that little win. Yeah. And we was like, all right, yeah, postal win. We came here for one. We didn't come here for all. We came here for one. That's right. We stole game we stole one. Stole one. That's all we wanted. And they wanted. said the Knicks haven't done that since so, what? I don't even want to talk. Come on now. That's, that's, that's a whole nother discussion. That's a whole nother discussion. We ain't talking about 30 years ago because we got to go back 20, 30 for this our Knicks, man. We, we, we talk about now. Let's we talk about what we're doing right, right the now, fuck we're now. Doing, we're making history. That's you're making history, count. man. How important is that gorilla, gorilla glue, George Hart? I told you, man. He was out one game, yo. They demolished us that one game. He came back. What happened? Ooh, what happened? That's, just, the, that, that's the glue of the Knicks. Now, we can't say nothing else, but you, you can tell who's the glue because when he's not there, when he was off the court, we looked at kind of weak and soft game two. Let's be real. They was abusing us, whooping our ass by 20. But and we came right back and we turned the favor, man. And we turned it bad, too, right? Made oh, look man. Stupid. Even R.J. Barrett, man, came out of his shell, man. I know. Because they, 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 he tired of hearing it, too. But it's like, if you notice, if you notice, they taking turns. It's like they taking turns over here. They got so many goddamn, so much from the starters to the bench that the Knicks is like the perfect bench team. In the NBA right now, the best best team in the NBA got to be the Knicks. Got to be. Right now, playoff ready. Let's talk about playoff ready. Now, speaking of playoffs, man. Round two you talk about? Let's get let's just, let's, let's, let's get past and let's Before go to Miami. We, yeah, let's go to Miami. Because you know that's who, who's going to be next. They leading. I, they, they took the lead. No Giannis. What I said, though, there's no Giannis. Where we going? Going to the championship, baby. That, that dude, can we make it a believer? Hey, hey, I'm that, with that it. Boston 76 is I'll put on a pair of Knicks no, no, sneakers no, no, no. And, 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 and march on that one. I'll walk with you on that one. Listen, man, before we travel and pack our mentality up to Miami, right? Yeah, yeah. Because that's where we going, right? Yeah, I think, I think. For I, a I, short. I believe, I believe, unless Giannis come back from a 3-1 deficit. Right nah, he's now. done. But he's done for the season, so. He's done. He's done. Miami got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know we, we got Miami numbers. We three one on them on the season. Right. Same way we three one on Cleveland on the season. Okay. That's like playing the same team back to back. I wanna talk about the shortcomings. The accolades that the Knicks is getting shitted on, man. What was up with your boy and man you quickly not getting the six man award, man? Award. We know who got it. I said who the person who gets it, he deserved it. We're not gonna argue. But let's let's shine a little bit of light on it, man. I mean, he deserved it, yeah. But we know why he ain't get it. He can't give the Knicks everything this one year. We got the best improved players. We got the best draft picks. We got, we got the, the All Star after, after the start after the All Star draft pick. Like we we got it all. Like and we still got a whole fucking whole motherfucking bunch of motherfucking picks. We ain't lose no picks. So you talk about we imagine we gave up all those picks and all that for Donovan. We okay. still got everything in more, bro. So that's we still got everyone we need. If we got to get rid of something, we get rid of them. They show that they rent play already. To certain teams send them off. We lit. We lit. Next season, oh my God, this is just elevation. I'm talking about next season. I'm not even thinking about now. I'm thinking about next season. So so right now, man, the Knicks is playing game three. Today, today, the hour, one o'clock. What's your predictions, my brother? We win it tonight. By how much? Probably like it's gonna be a close one. Think so? Think Cleveland gonna come out fighting? 
Cleveland gonna come out fighting tonight. They're gonna try to steal one back to even it out. So it's gonna be a fight tonight. Eh? Yeah, but see this game gap. Oh. Ain't no real game gap today. But when I know the, the Knicks is used to it. Yeah. Remember, it was a hell of a weekend. Sunday. But when the smoke clears, man. Friday, Saturday, they had to be in New York City and they had to party. You know these motherfuckers party. Oh, they man. in New York City. This weekend was crazy downtown. I know. I was down there. Wow. Well, I, hope I they... watched the Knicks game in the club, in, in a bar downtown. How was that oh, atmosphere? Man. The atmosphere was retarded. Was and the it bar? Was college, well, college kids was in there to... Everybody Knicks clothes on. It was crazy. Yeah? It was crazy. Was the bartender giving out free drinks, man? After the one, yeah. After the one? After the win. After okay. After won that game. Yeah? Yeah, that was a good Friday night game. So, 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 uh, 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 Donovan Mitchell, he could be obtained, basically. No, let him go. You see what we do? We let him go. We're going to let him go. Score your 30. Who else is going to score 30 behind you or 20 behind you? We need at least another 20, another 20 each. To keep up with the Knicks, because anyone could just drop 20 from the bench to the starters. You got at least four bench players that can drop 20 in the drop of a dime. You let them niggas get hot. You, you just, let off all the defense, they're going to rock. They're going to tear you up. Julius is a little injured, but this is top of the shine to shine. So that's how I look at it. Julius so, is kind of injured. You so he's not the same to you? So, nah, since he's he came still going to ball, as you see. He got the, I keep saying the Mamba mentality. He has it because he's going to still ball. He's just not going to – he only dropped, what, 12, 14 points last game? Mm-hmm. And that's because he's injured. And he ain't got to. You got toppings, man. You got you got, you got your you – got your, you had him since he was a rookie. You made him into a beast. That boy a beast now. They can't stop him at a three-point line. They can't stop him going in because he's going to dunk on their head. We good. All right. So you say, you're saying Miami's the next stop, right? Miami next stop. No home court advantage. Do we get home? Yeah, we get home court advantage. Bada bing. Bada bing. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Here we go. We go to the moon, baby. Go to the moon. Yeah. So once we pass Miami, you see us going all the way. If we get past Miami, and, it's, you know, next, next, I, I'm looking at brackets, so I'm like, okay, Boston 76ers. Hopefully Boston be 76ers. Can it be New York or Boston? You rather see Boston in the 76ers? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We know they number two. This is the whole point. We, we playing against – I'd rather play with the young boys. Play with the young boys. We young. They got out. We got a little bit of little bit of more hustle muscle than them. It's just that Boston just got the playoff experience. They could make it through the stretch. They've been making it for the last couple of years to the finals. So I already know it's going to be Boston. Okay. So if we go into the Eastern Conference Finals, it's going to be New York versus Boston. What's our chances of winning that? 65, 45? We got a good chance. 70, 60, 30. Five, not 65, 45. Let's give it 65, 45. And speaking of, uh, of, of, of the Boston series or any series that we're in, how important is our big men when we speak of players like Mitchell Robinson? Does he well, play an important it, factor, man? This, this round, not really. Next round, not really. The, ne- the finals will be, we're we going to need our big man. So that's what I mean. By then, right now, we're playing against teams that like to run the ball. Y'all run the ball. Y'all got big men, but your big men ain't really big men. Y'all don't have a dominant centers. Y'all ain't got no real 70s. Y'all only one that got that 76s. That's the only ones that got dominant, dominant on the East Sim. Right now, Giannis is down. So wait, wait, what up? who else got a big man? Well, do, big man make noise like that. Do you think Mitch can match up with Sims? He could match up with anybody. Like that, I said, they, that's they, a complete they, turnaround, man. Because two years ago, because he's not you, you wasn't that. He's not it, doing what he was doing two years ago. You could tell he wasn't happy two years ago. He wanted to get paid. He got paid. The nigga happy. You don't see him complaining. You see him balling. You see him get mad. He don't foul out no more. It's a lot of difference in his game. He don't want the ball no more. He don't care about the ball. He's going to do his display, his defense, get his rebounds, get his blocks, and do his job like he's supposed to as a center. He know he's not going to be one of those. He's not one of those. Now, when it comes to one of those big men, thank God we got another two big men down there. So he could he could catch in foul trouble. White boy going to hold his end. Sims going to hold his end. So fuck it. Let him ball out. How impressive, impressive is, is your boy Jalen Brunson, man? Is he continuing to, sh- to shock you, man? No, he ain't shocking nobody. 
That's what he came to do. He was doing that in Dallas. He was doing that in the Mavs. When I see the Knicks grab him, I said, oh, that's the craziest. Because I already knew he's, he, he was a problem. He proved it that playoffs. That's why they ain't make the playoff this season. Because that they ain't have him. It's just that, what's his name? They want to move from the point guard. He want to play the point guard. White boy would have said, let me take the two and let him stay on the one. They would have been there to have been in the playoffs. So basically, we, we ought to thank Dallas, right? Hell For yeah, make- I told you the last one. Thank you, Dallas. I know y'all mad. Dallas is mad behind that. They let that kid go. He ain't even paying. The, that's why we got hit with the tampering really, because we, we automatically knew it. And they can take this 120 something million and make it stop playing. Boy, we even, for your season even ends, and then you coming to the Knicks. Okay, man. They were trying to have, I'm just trying to figure out, they were trying to have him in Donovan Mitchell. That would have been fucking retarded. Can right. you imagine what the Knicks would have been if they would have had both of them, Donovan That would have been crazy, right? That's right. And we still doing good, so. So, your prediction, man. Knicks up tonight, 3-1. Look, tonight, we're going to be up 3-1. But it's going to be a close game. I give a five. I give plus five on New York. So, if anybody going with you, I see plus five, plus six. Take that plus five, plus six. Buy yourself a point or two. Get that, get that money. And get to work early tomorrow, y'all. Because yeah. I know y'all going to be partying. You know, us Nick fans, you know, it's a Sunday. Got him, Don't forget, got you got to get up. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Fight results last night came out crazy. Body shot to the side. Make a nigga go, ooh. Oh, shit. That nigga got the stinky leg yeah, he out here in this st- Now, he catch a stinky leg. He hit him. And he just froze. And then he dropped. Like, <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> the blood start coming down his nose. Like, oh, oh shit! He couldn't get up. <laughs> I missed that one. <laughs> yeah, that fight yesterday was crazy. Yeah, the fight was crazy last night. He did it in seven rounds, like he said. Let's get a young boy's props. All right, but for the most part, man, look like the Knicks could be very well get fitted for ring size, man. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, don't know. Now, man. The, the, the way you see the way you do, you see now. Now let's take our attention off. We talking now. We going from Knicks talk to NBA talk. Right. Real quick. Right. Now we going to the West Coast, fellas. Right. Now you see the fucking shenanigans going on over there. That's a hell of a show going on on the West Coast. Ma, I, no, no, no. We know that right now the, the most excited team in, in, in on the East is the Knicks. We know that. So who's but it let's for talk the Knicks? About the West. So who's it for the West? It's, it's a toss up because you see, you see, you see, Phoenix, you see the Lakers. Mm-hmm. They about to knock out two of the top teams. Right. They go against each other. Who we get to play against? If, if we make it to the finals, who would Ja want to play against? Kevin Durant or LeBron James? Let's think about that, people. Put those in the comments, my Knicks fans. Y'all be in them comments. We be reading. Put that in the comments. Who y'all rather face? Knicks? Knicks versus who? If we make the finals, let's talk about that. Who would you rather us play? Kevin Durant or LeBron? I can't believe that 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 uh, both, both of those teams is like oh that's like a game. I think we'll get smashed by the Lakers, the way they balling right now. Lakers, I, I, our bench is too deep for the Lakers. We can't say that they bench is deep. I just said it. I watched I watched the Lakers game, man, and I'm like shit. I just said it, and I gotta watch the game, so I gotta see what we playing against. See, I'm not worrying about us on the East, really. Like I said, till we get towards the. This third round. We oh, 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 and another thing, man. Can we think the 76ers for sweeping these bum ass Brooklyn Nets? We knew they was getting swept. Okay. Come on, man. We were talking about that. The Nets ain't even supposed to be in the playoffs. Let, let's be serious. The Nets ain't supposed to have been. The only reason why the Nets was in the position they was at because they had KD and they got the win. That's the only reason why they was there. When they got rid of KD, they didn't win no games. They they got in by because of their record. That's the only reason. They didn't deserve to be there. They ain't have no stars there. Nobody went to watch a Brooklyn Nets game. They want to charge three hundred dollars for a Brooklyn Nets game. I was trying to get a ticket just to go see KD and uh, these the motherfuckers play. They want three hundred dollars for a playoff ticket, and they ain't shit. And they got swept. They fucking retarded. You know how much a Knicks game ticket? Five hundred dollars, goddamn it. I want them to pay that five hundred though. But I'm waiting for the Eastern Conference Final. <laughs> I might buy a ticket early though. This how confident I'm gonna be. If we get to the second round, which we I are, know we going going against Miami. I'm buying which me an Eastern Conference Final ticket. Because I got to be to the conference. I got to be at that conference game. Damn, you trying to be at that Nick parade, baby. Forget the Nick parade, nigga. We had, we had the Nick parade. All Nick Avellians better bring their asses to the Nick parade. And we all have a big old hoo-ha. No, I'm going to be there. 
And with that being be said, there. and, and we're gonna have RJ there, right, RJ? RJ gonna be right in there, motherfucker. RJ, like, yeah, nigga, I'm gonna drop 20 tonight. Ah, Ooh. shit, he better. RJ dropping 20 today. Watch. Hearts might have 15. And how much Julius Randle gonna have? Julius might just chill out tonight. He might be kind of injured, so let's, let's look up Toppins to see Toppins drop 20. Oh, man, ain't it good to have an alternative? That's what I'm trying to tell you. We out. Peace. Yeah.